What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about five stocks today. We're going to go over GME and AMC for Black Mamba, PLTR for Fashion Fabby, CTNT for Mark Balsersack, and IMMR for Time Attell. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. We're going to get right into this. So the last video that I made on GME, it, I'm pretty sure it was this day. And I was saying that was probably it. If we were to move higher, it would be by a very small amount, but that was probably it because... If we put a line right here at that peak, we are right at previous areas of resistance where we closed resistance right, right around there. So if we moved up, it would be just a little bit more, but I was thinking that we probably moved down um, and we did. We, we've given a lot of it back. That weekly gap is being filled. If we look at this relative high on the FIB to the relative low here, it wouldn't be crazy at all in my opinion to move to this 236, 1748. We're at 18.32 now, so a little bit less than a dollar of a move down. Find support on previous areas of resistance, resist or support, support, as we found resistance at previous areas of resistance. So if we can find support down there, that'd be nice. Fill the gap and then move higher. Yes, I do think GME will move higher, but I don't think we're going, I don't think it's like this, guys. I, we are not, those times are past. GME is on everybody's radar. They hear this now and they're like, oh, it's a second chance. All, all, the, all the people who missed the boat on this and they've been holding this whole way through or maybe they got wrecked on something else and they're just like <clears throat> trying to send it on a prayer with this thing. I hate to burst your bubble. It's not It's not going to do what it did this last cycle. I would love to be wrong. I can be wrong. I've been wrong before, I'll be wrong again. But the reason why it did this was because there were hedge funds and big players that were putting their money into short positions, right? They were over leveraged and they had their pants around their ankles and they got exploited because of that, right? It's not the same conditions now. You're not just because it did this once does not mean it's going to happen again, right? This probably just happened because there was such low liquidity. It was an easy move to make. There were a lot of people maybe shorting it even. Uh, it could have been a short squeeze. It could have been a gamma squeeze. Who knows? I, I really don't know. But um, anyways, anyways, uh, yes, probably down a little bit and then up over time. It will probably work its way up to new highs relative to this 120 area. You probably will work your way up to 240 or at least back to like 90 to $100. You're at $18 now. I think you will work your way up there, but it will take time. It could be by the end of this year or the beginning of next year or later. Like it's not gonna be quick. It's not, it's gonna be movements like this, not movements like this, if that makes sense. That's, that's the best I got. Down first and then working your way up. That's my assumption. I'd love to be wrong. AMC, I'm a little less bullish on. Um, you found resistance. Smooth operator, shout out to you because I think you're the one that posted this in the Discord. If not, if I'm giving that credit to somebody else, please let me know, but I'm pretty sure it was smooth operator. Maybe it was, it might've been somebody else who posted the chart and then he reposted it. I, I don't remember, but anyways, we're finding resistance at previous areas of resistance and previous areas of support in a chart that's done nothing but move down its whole life. Um, yes, that's a lot of volume. There's a lot of volume, but that is also a lot of wick. It's not a good look, okay? If we're taking this relative low here to the relative high, maybe I should take the actual, yeah, that, I mean, that, that falls in line. Really, in my opinion, you hit your expected zone, rejected the 100 level. This, if this was not AMC, if this was anything else, I would just no problem say you're probably moving to your 1618, which be which would be at about a dollar. But AMC and GME appear to move together, appear to move together. So maybe you find support on your 1272 and move up. Genuinely speaking, though, I think your next move is down to a dollar. I do around a dollar thirteen. That's what I think. I think that's going to happen sometime this year, and then perhaps you see another bullish pump later when when GME sees another crazy pump or something. But I think you're going to work your way down. I don't like your weekly RSI. Your weekly RSI is at an area of rejection. You have been forming lower highs since the, that that uh, crazy phase, right? <clears throat> yes, you broke above it here, but I'm not I'm not impressed. Um, it's still a lower high and you're below the 50. Let's see what you do with it. I don't think you'll do much. Looking at the daily, the daily does look somewhat decent. I do think that before you move lower to that dollar area, perhaps you move back up to about eight bucks, um, 750 to eight bucks, but then then down. That's my thoughts on AMC. PLTR for Fashion Fabby, <coughs> Plantier Technologies. Looking like you wanna move down as well, unfortunately. And that's okay. You know, you've kind of got this upward sloping consolidation, like this little like channel here. You're probably just going to move down. That's okay. Down to about what? 1860, let's say roughly with the eyeballs, 1860 relative low to high here. 
1786 maybe, 1940, somewhere in that range. That's where I think you're going. Yeah. <clears throat> Not going to lie. Actually, man, oh, this, this could be bad. This could not be good. You better hope you hold 1786. If not, man, you could be moving back down to 16 or even down below $13. This consolidation could break out to the to the downside. Genuinely. I think it's going down, man. I'm very confident in 1786. I'm not as confident in those lower numbers, but we'll see when we get there, won't we? I am confident for the immediate terms that you're moving down, so I hope that helps. I'm not trying to scare anybody. That's just my genuine thoughts. It might not go to those low numbers. It might hold support in that area. I'm just, I don't like seeing it, man. It's it's kind of scary, but nothing nothing conclusive yet, right? No reason to be scared. Uh, CTNT, Mark Balsersack, you said this was a penny stock, right? Market cap, 33 million. It's crazy that that's a penny stock, man. Um, but yes, it is a penny stock. Uh, and it's, it's at a low point. It's near its all-time lows. I mean, it literally actually was just at its all-time lows. So yeah, it's probably a perfect time to get involved uh, to DCA if you're looking to get in on this thing. Decent looking RSI, really weird, very like new chart and just crazy volatility. But yeah, it looks fine. There's some volume, there's some interest down here. You're at your lows. I think you probably do have a good chance of seeing the price go up um, from here. Will it happen like this? Probably not. I think it's the same thing as like GME. This is probably on people's radar now. So um, it might move sideways. And then it could even move lower than this low, but probably not by much. But over time, it will start to gradually increase. And then as you get like toward this area of resistance here, right in the chart, when you break that, then you'll probably get a nice move up again because it is such a low cap uh, stock. But for now, it's probably going to be boring. It's a good time to just accumulate DCA, and then and then whenever you get that move like this again, when it happens, and it probably will happen, maybe in months, whenever it happens, telltale sign to get out. Right? Even if the first day, if you sold here at 6:40 and you missed the opportunity to sell all the way up at 1476. You sold at 640, it's at a dollar now. You killed it, you did great, okay? So um, when it pumps, don't be afraid to get out is all I'm trying to say at the end there. Uh, let's talk about IMMR for time to tell. <clears throat> but yeah, screen light for buying, I would say. If it goes lower, it's not gonna be by much is my thoughts. I can be wrong, I've been wrong before, but looking at this, I like this. This might actually be the best looking chart that we've looked at so far. Um, I like the weekly RSI. I really do. I also like the daily RSI. Very, very hot though. You might cool off at some point and that's okay. Volume's dying off. Yeah. Um, it's the one that I like the most, but I am pretty confident that you are going to move down in the more immediate terms. Relative high to low here. 618. You tipped it. Yeah. 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 Look at, look at how well you've respected this. So beautifully, right? 236 tipped it. 382 consolidated below it, boom, up to your 0.5, found support on your 382, 618 hit, you probably come back down to your 0.5 and then you move up from there. You're probably going down to 840. You're at 975, I bet you move down to 840. Let's put a line right there. See if that corresponds, coalesces with anything else. Delete, you know, I'm just gonna actually, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that up. Oh, I'll be right back. I gotta check on my daughter real quick.
All right, I'm back, you party people. I was thinking about just ending it there, but I want to do the right thing. Um, yeah, I think you moved back to 844 because that's your 0.5. You've been doing so well with the Fib, and it would just make sense to hold that 0.5. Um, previous areas of resistance here, resistance there even. Resistance is kind of in the middle of this overall range. Resistance, it's support. It's, it's an area that has been respected throughout the time of this thing. Not so much further, but more relatively speaking. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all if you move back to like 840, 850. You're at 975 now. And then from there, continue to move up. So expect that to happen. Um, you moved up fast in three weeks. I would think you probably move down slow. It'll take months. But maybe by the end of this year, you'll start to move up again. If not, I mean, yeah, probably by the end of this year. Probably in the second half. It's May now. I would think maybe July or August you'll be done consolidating. You'll start to move up. Q3 should be exciting for this thing. Yeah. And that's all I got to say. If you like this video, hit that like button. I am bad at time analysis, so if it happens sooner or later, do not hold me to it. But uh, that's all I got. This one's probably the one that has that I have the most confidence in. I have some confidence in GME too, but uh, I don't know. And probably in CTNT. I don't know. I guess really just PLTR and AMC are the ones that I'm iffy on, but... Anyways, guys, that's all I got. Hit that like button, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.